And I work, as I say, in the creative industries, helping creative people to be smart with business. And so my first book was called T-Shirts and Suits. This is a metaphor. T-shirts representing the, the cool, creative people making computer games or films or animations, art or music. And suits, the word suits representing smart business thinking. Because if we combine creative passion with smart business thinking, we can achieve amazing success. And my book gives lots of examples about how businesses in those sectors can be smart with marketing and leadership and intellectual property and finance and business planning and business growth and other things. So it's a business book for people who don't normally read business books. And I'm proud to say it's been published in translations in 13 countries around the world. And the first Spanish translation, congratulations Colombia, yes, was here in Colombia, before it was published in Spain or later in Chile. So the book is available in Spanish. Camisetas y corbatas, una guía para los negocios creativos. I urge you to take a look at it. The book actually is also available as a free download in English, a PDF download, on my website, davidparish.com. You have Wi-Fi, you could download it now while we're speaking, free of charge. It's yours for the taking, protected by a Creative Commons license, but please take it, print it, share it, and read it. Now, I was introduced kindly before as a consultant, indeed I am, but they didn't tell you I was also a mind reader. I can read your minds. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, this guy is stood on the stage talking about business, but did he just say that he gives away his book? What a stupid guy he is. Well. In doing that, I'm using a business model called freemium. This is a hybrid word, combining free and premium. Because sometimes if you give something away for free, you can charge a premium price later or to some of your customers. So maybe you give away the software for free, but if you want to buy the manual to use it properly, you have to pay $100. And there are many examples of these kind of free samples or giving something away for free to make more money later. And in my case, I give away my book for free for two reasons which are not contradictory. The first, if it doesn't sound too grand, is that it's my gift to the world. I really want creative people to be smart with business. That's my passion and my mission. But at the same time, the book acts as my advertising my brochure, my manifesto. And because the book is out there and people are sharing it, I one day got a phone call from Taiwan who said, David, we've seen your book, we love it. We'd like to publish it in translation in complex Chinese with your permission and we'll pay you a licensing fee. And we'd like to fly you to Taiwan, business class, to speak at a conference and of course we'll pay you handsomely. And while you're here, another organization wants you to deliver a workshop for young entrepreneurs, and they will pay you too. So by giving something away for free, I made a lot of money elsewhere. So maybe I'm not as stupid as I look. Another business model is coopetition. Again, a hybrid word combining cooperation and competition two opposite words. And what it means is that sometimes we can collaborate with our competitors. Sometimes, not always, in particular circumstances, we can collaborate or cooperate with competitors. And this is the story of the two art galleries in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Two art galleries on opposite sides of the street. The tourist walks down the street and both galleries are competing for the tourist dollar, pulling the tourist into one gallery or into another. Direct competitors 
and opposites. But at the time e-commerce was starting to flourish, these two galleries decided that if they combined forces and put all of their works of art online, on an online gallery called vietnamartist.com, they could get access to the wider world. Both of them could benefit by reaching a bigger market with a joint website. And that's exactly what they did, and they succeeded. So competitors collaborated for mutual benefit. This is imaginative thinking. This is a creative and innovative kind of business model. It doesn't always apply, but please be aware of it. Because today we're talking about the pieces of the jigsaw. And this might be one piece of the jigsaw you can use, potentially, in building a winning strategy for your business. And another one is about making money while you sleep. And people can make money while they sleep by licensing intellectual property. This young man, Guillermo Marconi, I had the privilege of meeting when I delivered a workshop in Nova Friburgo in Rio de Janeiro State in Brazil. He came to my workshop and he's a commercial illustrator. He's a one person business, works from his home on his computer. And you can't quite see his particular characteristic style of art, of illustration. And he makes illustrations, commercial illustrations for Nike, Coca-Cola, Vodafone and other big companies. But he doesn't sell his illustrations, he licenses them. If Nike wants to use an image or an illustration, through his agents, they will say, you can use it for two years, but only in your stores. If they want to use it for longer, they pay again. And then if they decide they want to use it for packaging, that's a different deal. He retains the intellectual property and permits them through licenses to use his work. And so the article I wrote about him, which is on my website, says, don't sell it, rent it. And again, this is a business model that's often used in the creative industries, not least in book publishing. So J.K. Rowling continues to hold the copyright of the Harry Potter novels. She licenses that to publishers who print the books and sell them, and she makes money while she sleeps. The books are then translated. She gets a cut because she owns the intellectual property, not to mention the films, and that's why she makes a lot of money while she sleeps. So licensing is a model that's used very much in the creative industries and in other sectors. It might be something that you can use, that's up to you. It's another tool in the toolbox, another potential business strategy that could be used for you to um, come up with a winning formula.